Hello and welcome in. My name is Sweet Phil, and today right here, I'm showing you the drop highlights from 100 community bail runs. Phil, what does a community bail run even mean? Well, essentially what I'm saying by community bail run is that I set up these bail run games in my Discord. I actually have a channel for C bail games, which you can set up either chaos or bail games or cow games and stuff like that. And as a community, all my Discord members or anybody who comes into stream and they can get the password to the games in my Discord, they can come and do these runs with me. Now, the good thing about this is they keep rolling and rolling and rolling. We keep going. You level up super quick like that. And also, you don't have to be that quick to the finger. Click, 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 click. Whenever bail goes down, just hoping, not even knowing what you're grabbing and looking at your stash and seeing what it is because anything good that drops, if you drop like a Shaco or something like that or a High Rune drops, we all share it. I open up a wheel. I personally don't keep any of the items myself. I spin the wheel and they go to the other seven people in the game, whoever it lands on, so it's completely randomized. That way, you know, that way you can get a high rune. You don't have to be that person who sits up there and doesn't do anything. You're just trying to snipe things. You actually play the game, and then you, you hope you get what you're looking for. And if there's anything that's good, useful items, like we'll say maybe someone doesn't want chance guards or a shaft stop or, you know, a viper magic or something like that that we find, I put it on one of my shared stash pages in a pot. And at the end of stream, I make a giveaway game and I give it away to everybody from my Discord and people in the chat of my live streams, anybody who wants it. So it's super fun, super awesome. I would encourage you to get up in my Discord and join in on those games. We try to keep them rolling all the time around the clock. So, and you can get up in there and make your own games and post them in that Discord as well. So here we're going to jump in and get these highlights rocking here. Don't forget the like button, subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. And let's get after it. Getting kicked off here, run number 13, straight from Bale. And we get a unique ring. Oh, let's go, baby. Let's go. It's a Raven Frost. Still kind of cool. Definitely go towards the pile for the giveaways at the end of stream. Here we're at run number 19. And sorry for the choppiness of my stream and video. I actually went and bought a new graphics card right after this, but... Off of one of these mobs here, we get a Malrune, and I did spin the wheel and give it away. I forgot to record it, though, so my bad. All the way to run number 40. What? Man, these luck on these runs is just absolutely terrible. Typical sweet fill luck, but we get some chance guards here, and they roll 37% better magic find. Not too shabby, but no one in the game actually wanted them. They all had better gear, I suppose, so those went to the giveaway as well. An incredibly useful item at run number 48. Actually, one of the people sort of donated it. I think they went and did a magic find run, like ran Mephisto or something, while I was tele we were teleporting down to Bale. And they just dropped it by the portal so I could find it and grab it for the giveaways and stuff. But here is a Razor Tail, an absolute must-have for a Javazon due to that piercing attack. Another great one for that donation pile. Here we are at even run number 50, and we get an item straight from Bale here. And that is this set chaos armor this is the armor for the trang set actually very good for a poison necro because if you do a three piece trang set you actually get minus 25 to enemy poison res on the shield or the skull so this is a good piece for my necromancer to find now just three runs later once again from bale i barely got there these guys killed bale so fast but there was a unique troll nest that dropped off of bale the guy goes ahead and dropped it for me so I can take a quick look at it and ID it, and it is a Headhunter's Glory. Only rolls with one open socket. Unfortunately, it can get up to three. Kind of more of a rare item than it is useful, but that'll go towards the donation pile. Now two runs later at 55, and boom. Whoa, what, whoa, what is that? A Vex rune? Let's go. Hey, wait a second, guy. Hey. Wait a second. Yeah, here I am. Hey, guys, where'd it go? Give it back. What happened? But... Some guy ran up and took it, knowing the rules that we spin for it, he came and took it anyways. Look at slow motion here, it is this dummy paladin. Thanks a lot for being a schmuck. You are officially a loser. Well, we'll kick that negativity aside here. We're at run number 60. We got a round shield, and it's ethereal. Kind of a rare thing to get an ethereal moser. Not particularly useful, but I kind of like the note because it's rare. 25 more runs later. Wow, the luck is uh, not going too great here for all of us, but a small charm drops off and I get my grimy little hands on it. After I get around to identifying it, it is actually a 7% magic find small charm, which is pretty cool. And I lied. I said I gave everything away. I actually ended up keeping this myself. So, yeah. 
Here we get another item straight off of Bailout Run number 93. Actually one of the unique jewels here, and that is a facet. So we'll go ahead and idea and then spin to see who gets it. Oh, wait a second. Somebody took it again and won't give it back. I don't know who it could be. Maybe this guy up here. Maybe this barbarian who tries to play it off as a magic jewel. Oh, look, guys. This is the jewel I actually found. It wasn't a facet. Sure, sure, guy. Actually, I know it was a facet because I have it recorded. You're a loser. Now we're at run number 99, almost done with these runs, and off of a mob, while we were cleaning the room, drops a Surune. Somebody picked it up and they did give it to me so I could spin for it. Thank you very much. We're gonna go ahead and pull that wheel up. Let's spin and see who gets this one. This is always exciting on stream to spin for a high rune because they are so incredibly valuable. Let's go. And we got a number two. Here we go. And it actually ends up going back to the same guy who had picked it up and gave it to me. So you get that Sir Rune right back. Thank you very much, Byron. Now we're at the end of one of my streams, and this is actually a bunch of items that I'm giving away here. You can see there's a bunch of Geeds I got, there's a bunch of Tal Rasha's masks, the tra a Trang's armor that I'd found. Uh, whether you're talking Inferno Strides, uh, the Eaton Axe is a Rune Master, Gold Wraps, Mage Fist, Titans, a bunch of Whiz Spikes, all kinds of good items that are very, very good for, well, early on players or really end game players, because right now, even those Tal's masks, I'm using a bunch of those. Uh, on my Act 2 Mercenaries and stuff like that. Obviously, everyone uses Mage Fists all the time, but some of this stuff was from these runs. Some of it was from a bunch of Andario runs I did. Other stuff was just straight up donated from uh, community members, uh, people that were in stream, people in the Discord donated to me to do for this giveaway. And actually, towards the end here, another guy comes in and just empties one of his mules with all a bunch of the similar types of items. Really good stuff for uh, newer returning players or just stuff that people really actually need. So unfortunately we got a couple schmucks steal some of the items from us. Ugh, there's always gonna be people like that on the internet. I might tighten up the way that I have people so I can actually tell who is who and maybe just ban people from my Discord who don't play by the rules. But it is what it is, it's just a game. We're all having fun out here. We don't need to worry about all that negativity. But if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe up so you never miss any of the future videos. Make sure you check out my Discord and come into the live stream, stick around all the way to the end. That's when we do them free item giveaways almost daily. So yeah, make sure you check that out. Peace out YouTube, catch you next video. Don't forget, keep slaying.